Hi, it's Colm here from Oro Wheelers. I'm here with Val today and we're going to do this short little video in relation to a hidden hazard in regard to disc brakes. Maybe if you're a bit like me, who's not very technically minded when it comes to the bikes, you'll learn a lot here today because this is about knowing when your disc brakes are worn. So if at the end of this presentation you see that they are worn, then it's time to go down to Joe Daly's or to give Orange Jerry a ring or to call into your local bike shop and get them replaced. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to hand you over to Val. Let me say it from the outset. I'm a very big fan of disc brakes, particularly uh, when we're cycling in the rain or when our hands are very cold. Um, but there is a major difference between disc brakes and what we would have called conventional brakes. When you look down at a conventional brake, you can see how much wear is left in the rubber. But when you look down at disc brakes, you just see a lump of metal. And this is part of the problem. This is why Colin was talking about a hidden hazard, because lots of people think out of sight, out of mind. I'm going to demonstrate to you some of the key indicators that would alert you to the fact that your brakes need attention. Not that you will do it yourself, but you take them to a shop. The first big and very significant indicator is travel, lever travel. When you pull your brakes, you should find them engaging almost immediately. If the lever travels back to nearly touching the handlebars, that would be a very significant indicator that you need to do something. The second one would be squealing. Now, all disc brakes squeal at some stage. But when I'm talking about squealing, I mean persistent squealing. So after a couple of kilometers, they continue to squeal. And absolutely, if you're coming back from a ride, 40, 50, 60 K, and your brakes still squeal, they certainly need attention. And the last one would be where you would yourself would feel my brakes are not as good as they used to be, right? And maybe at the same time, you feel a rough, very different sound out of your brakes. Again, it's time to do something about them. The three tools you need to establish if your brakes need to be serviced are first of all, the sun. You need bright light, real bright light, and that will become apparent when I show you what the brake assembly looks like. If you don't have a bright sunny day, you need a very, very powerful torch. And the last tool that you need, high tech tool, you need an old toothbrush and a jam jar full of water. So we've established that we can't see the brake pads on a disc brake bike looking down on them. So it's very simple. All you do is turn your bike upside down and now you have a clear view of the brake mechanism. But of course you don't because when you look down there, your brakes are going to be like everybody else's brakes. They're going to be covered in the dust of the worn pads and you're going to be looking at a black mess. And now for the high-tech toothbrush and the jam jar of water. The better you clean the mechanism, the easier it will be for you to see the condition of your brakes. So it's important for you to realize that both your front brake and your back brake have two pads in each brake. And I'm going to show you the three things that make up your system. One is these white pieces here. Now you can ignore those, they're part of the mechanics. But here you have the backing plate, the steel backing plate on your pads on both sides. But here is the actual brake pad, the piece that wears out. And if you notice, the piece on one side is much more worn than the other. So when I look down here, I would say that my brake pads are getting very close to needing to be replaced. This is what your brake pads look like out of the mechanism. But as you can see, this one looks significantly more worn than this one. I hope we've demonstrated with this short video that anybody can identify the hidden hazard in disc brakes with a jam jar and a toothbrush 
you can establish for yourself whether you need to take your bike down to a bike shop and have a service or if your bikes are safe. Okay Val, thanks for that. I have to admit, I know a lot more now than I did earlier on before we started the filming. But uh, I think the most important thing we get out of today is it's important that you're safe on your bike, you know. And it's also vitally important that your fellow members are safe out cycling with you. So if you have an issue with your disc brakes, get it sorted. And finally, I just wanted to mention that the next video we're going to do is for the technical people, the DIY people, and we're going to show them how to replace the disc brakes themselves. Okay?